Hey, kiddo. I need to ask you a few questions, okay? Can you tell me what happened tonight? I... I went to show her my haircut. She had a gun. She... Take your time. She freaked out. I... I... It's okay. No, it's not. It's not okay. My mom tried to kill me, so... So I stabbed her. I killed my mother. First, I'm gonna find the keys to the old house. Then, I'm gonna drive to Fireweed and I'm not going to freak out. Everything's fine. I need to bring this with me to Juno. I should probably get rid of this. I mean, I can stream it anytime I want, but it makes me happy just to look at the box. I've got to make solid plans to see the Geminids. I wonder if Tyler would want to go. Hey, you want to freeze your ass off watching burning rocks fall through the sky? Yeah, I might need to work on my sales pitch. Oh, right. I stashed them...
So that's where you've been hiding. All right. I think I'm ready to go now. Is he gonna like this? Or is it too much? I should probably check my email one more time before I go. No, I've already done that three times this morning. I can't believe I'm about to leave this room for the last time. Okay, I'm pretty much done here. I just need to grab my goblin and I'm off. Hey, little guy. You're gonna be reunited with your sister soon. Cool. I guess I'm totally ready to go now. Hi, Tyler. Hi. First time we see each other in 10 years, and it's hi, Tyler. Oh, sorry, I... It's fine, Allison. Hi is a good place to start. God, it's good to see you. <sighs> Likewise. You have anything else you need to get? Nope, this is it. My last 10 years in a bag. Then we should get going. We just have time to make the morning ferry. You look good in that. Thanks. One of my mentees designed it. It's really good. Yeah, he's so incredibly talented. I got a couple of local coffee shops to hang his art. Tyler Ronan, shaping the leaders of tomorrow. Yep, we're screwed. <laughs> so, are you gonna miss anything about this place?
honestly. People. The other residents, my mentees, my counselor, Aaron. It took me a while to fit in. But once I did, it felt like home. They made me feel safe. Safe enough to be me. That's so great. I'm really happy for you. We planning to drive to Delos Crossing or push? You are welcome to walk. Nah, I'll take my chances. Need one last look or anything? Looked. Let's go. Really, I am 100% not creative enough to make that stuff up. Oh, and just last week, they had to turn the ferry around because a bear was on board. No way. Someone heard a commotion in the back of a delivery truck, so they opened it up. And there was the bear, fat and happy on a literal mountain of empty chip bags. <laughs> you go where the food is. Oh, I can relate to that. So then what happened? I'm not sure. I think they couldn't get him to leave, so they tranked him. Oh, poor buddy. Shot in the ass just for getting the munchies. Yeah, well, you know what they say. Safety first in bear country. Yeah, but prevention is best. Common sense goes a long way in keeping them from getting shot. The bear is fine, Tyler. For now. You hear they've been talking about loosening up regulations on trophy hunting again? Higher bag limits, inhumane ground traps, even bringing back hibernation hunting. What kind of asshole gets off on killing a sleeping animal? I'm not against hunting, but predators play a vital role in the health of our natural parks. What? Why are you smiling? I'm being serious. Oh, I can tell, Ranger Tyler. Not yet, but at least I got the school part out of the way. I can't believe you've got a bachelor's already. While I boast a half-completed certificate in accounting from an online college that may have stolen my credit card number. You'll figure out what you want. You have time. How are you feeling? Like I'm about to drive straight into a whiteout and my fog lights are dead. What about you? Allison? Whoa. Zoned out there for a second. Sorry. What's up? I'm sorry. I'm just trying to wrap my head around the fact that you're right here, standing beside me, on our way to Delos. You don't have to apologize. It's a lot. Why did we take the ferry instead of the coast road? Because I didn't want to be stuck in the car with you for an extra two hours. Ha ha. <laughs> we have to take the ferry. It's the only way to reach down. I don't think my stomach could have taken two more hours of how you handle curves. I'm sorry. Do you want to take over driving when we dock? <laughs> no. You're going to have to get back behind that wheel at some point, you know. Look, I put a fireweed van nose first in a ditch. Hey, at least you missed the porcupine. I'm guessing things haven't changed much. You mean in Delos? Still the capital of East Jesus nowhere. Can't wait to get out of here. Guess that normal life you wanted didn't live up to your expectations, huh? I mean, having cable and full-time electricity was definitely a plus, but no one ever forgets anything in a small town. You get marked a weirdo and that's it. That's your life. At least you had Michael. Yeah. I don't think I'd have survived high school without him. Bet you're gonna miss him when you move to Juno. How's he doing? Good. Good, good. Uh, but I haven't seen him much outside of work lately. He's been busy with his dance and helping his clan organize a potlatch. Is 
that smoke coming out of Stonehouse? Guess someone finally bought that old shack. That, or the ghosts are cozying up by the fire. Think the new owners know it's totally haunted? I'm sure Tina did her best to keep them from figuring it out. At least until the paperwork was signed. Ugh. That house always gave me the creeps. Those windows are like huge gawking eyes. Uh, you think people talk about our house this way? Probably. So, we're really going back there, huh? To Stonehouse? I mean, we're going home. Yeah. Yeah, we are. Think the house will sell? No interested buyers yet. Turns out, people don't line up to buy murder houses with no electricity. <laughs> At least it's got one hell of a view, unlike Juno. Hey, Juno has mountain views aplenty. It just also has people and fun. Are you still thinking you might be my roomie? I'm thinking about it. Hey, can I ask you a question? Shoot. I was told... Um, I mean... After you, well, graduated, I guess, and became a mentor three years ago, you still basically spent all your time at Fireweed, right? Pretty much. There were a few times I tried to go to these meetups for trans people in Juno, but something always came up. I probably should have put myself out there more, but it was better to be around in case the residents needed me. So you were free to come and go as you pleased? Yeah. Uh, why do you ask? Oh, nothing. Just being an overly invested sister. Curious how you spent your time. Allison? Yeah? Spit it out. Okay, you need to promise not to freak out. What is it? It's a gift. From Eddie. I know he's not your favorite person, but... I'm sorry, when you said Eddie, I thought you meant Chief Brown, as in the police officer who arrested me. Come on, Ty. Don't- And your adopted father, the man who didn't let you visit me for seven years. The Fireweed Administration backed him up, Tyler. They thought it was best for both of us. Yeah, well, it wasn't. It's a peace offering. And you're the two most important people in my life. Please. For me. He can't buy my forgiveness with some cheap-ass trinket. It's a gift, Tyler. You know what gift-giving means in Clinket culture, and what it means to refuse one. Fine. I'll take it, but I'm not going to wear it. Really? Really. Just so we're clear, this was for you, not Chief Brown. You know, you could call him Eddie, or even Uncle. <laughs> Hard pass. Did you hear that? like home. Yeah. Would it ruin the moment if I said I needed to call home? Uh, yes. Completely. Sorry. Go ahead and stop apologizing all the time. Okay, sorry. <sighs> Thanks. It's so weird being back on this boat.
I've been driving in this stuff for five years. I'll be fine. That's not going to happen. Oh, it's easy. Yikes. Hey, I heard that. Hey, man, it's your truck. You do you. Same to you. Hey again. Fancy meeting you here. Cannery still going strong, huh? Not sure what people would do around here if it weren't. Hey, didn't we used to swim off that dock? Wait, no. That was on the lake. Oh, uh, they pulled that one out. What? No. Man, so many good memories. Of pushing me into the lake? The neighbor kid was the one who pushed you in all the time. Yeah. What's he up to? Bobby? I, uh, kinda dated him. <laughs> no way. Yeah. I always seem to attract the assholes. Another reason why I'm not dating right now. Damn. I watched the cell footage you sent me, but seeing it for real is wild. Yeah. It was terrible. You could smell the smoke all the way over in Delos Crossing. Two years later, and they haven't cleaned it up at all? The company went under after, and surprise, no one else is eager to take it on. Someone died, right? Yeah. It was a crazy day. There's nothing like the open air. Hey, you send your application to Denali yet? Uh, not yet. I need way more experience. You're not applying to run the entire national park. They've got to have something entry level, right? Yeah, but I've done no internships, no volunteer work. They probably get hundreds of applicants, and I've got nothing to show. Come on, you don't know that. Doesn't hurt to try. You know, since there's no electricity at the house, we should totally make a campfire. Ooh, yes! Mm, I can already smell the gooey marshmallows and warm chocolate. Clear sky full of stars overhead. The wail of a loon resonating on the empty lake. All right, Wordsworth. Hey, that's a compliment. I think I'm gonna sit in the car for the rest of the ride. Are you sure? It's way more interesting out here. It smells better, too. Yeah, I'm good.
Wow. It's basically exactly like I remember it. Only faded. Like a Polaroid left on a windowsill. From the outside, it almost looks charming. Charm's not the problem. Structural integrity may be an issue. You think there's a chance whoever buys it will just tear it down? If someone buys it, they can do whatever they want with it. You wouldn't care at all? Would you? Sure. Everywhere I look, I see a piece of one of our adventures. Everywhere I look, I just see her. Allison, we could go grab a bite. Start this tomorrow? No. The only way to get this done is to do it. After you. Uh, did you smoke something before you left Fireweed? The door's right there. Locked. Well, it's a good thing I remembered this. You sure that's the right key? Yes. Maybe someone changed the lock. Who would change the lock on us? I don't know. We're screwed. You got a plan B? Yeah. We find another way in. I never knew a locked door that could keep the crafty goblins out. Yeah, we had a million ways in and out of this old house. At least one of them's gotta work. <sighs> the crafty goblins. I haven't thought about them in forever. Or should I say, us. We almost spent more time as goblins than we did as kids. Remember how whenever we lost our toys in the sand, we thought the Mad Hunter had- How many sand castles did we build with this? None that survived. Aw, uh, you're out of your element, little guy. How do you know? Maybe he's a snowfish. Doesn't seem like the greenest source of energy. Not like she had the money for solar panels. At least we don't have any use for this right now. Luckily. Remember the snowstorm in 2004? Marianne had us digging for hours. It's no good. I can't open this one either. It's okay. We'll find another way in. Open sesame. Let me guess. It's locked. Yup. Know any other secret passwords? Hmm. Honeydew? <laughs> nope. What'd you find? Our hidden treasure. Seriously? How do we think to stash it there? Goblin secrets are always well kept. Remember how mad she'd get if we didn't use the compost? And she always knew when we were lying. Waste not, or kiss the planet goodbye.
I could break a window. You know civilized people don't do that, right? Oh, so we're civilized now? Well, maybe not. But we are trying to sell this place, and broken windows aren't exactly amenities. At least the shed's still standing. Yep. I don't want to think about what might be living inside it, though. Well, I can't believe these are still here. Yeah. We should hide them so they don't frighten away potential buyers. How'd she get around on these roads with this thing? She'd rather have broken her neck than spend money on a new one. Yeah. Still waiting for those bikes she promised us. Uncle Eddie got me one. Hey, it's locked, all right. What was she doing out here that night? Come on, man. Stop thinking. Whoa, at least the tools are still here. That'll help with the repairs. They're good quality, too. Marianne wanted stuff like that to last. Homemade cleaning products may be better for the planet, but they do not have the same shelf life. Oh, add it to the shopping list. So, any idea how we're gonna get in? Hmm. We used to play under the house when we were kids. Yeah, we stashed all our goblin treasure down there. There was a hatch, right? That opened up into the laundry room? There was. I hope I can still fit. I'm a little taller than I was at 11. No, it should be fine. Okay. If we just get this board out of the way, I could probably squeeze through. So we need something to pry it off. It's screwed in pretty good. We need a screwdriver. I think I saw one back in the shed. Let's go check. It's locked, all right. Okay. Should be something in here that'll work. I guess Marianne left us something useful, huh? Yeah. We still have to find a way to get inside, though. And please, no broken windows. We'll see ya. What's happening? Do you feel that? Ugh. This is the millionth time I've gotten in trouble because of you. You and your big mouth. Hey, you were thinking the same thing. You just weren't brave enough to tell her. What good would it do? It's not like she ever listens to us anyway. Well, I'd rather scream it right in her stupid face than be a quiet little mouse. Oh, we forgot the key. We need to put it back. Maybe we could hide it somewhere. You know, for fun. Goblins are supposed to help the princess, not play mean tricks. Whatever, you're not fun. I'm only trying not to make her even worse. 
Whoa. Did that just happen? I don't know, but I saw it too. It felt like it did when we used to share thoughts with our voice. It did, but that was a memory of us 10 years ago, right? I, I vaguely remember it happening. I think so. And, uh, that's new, right? Yeah. We could share thoughts and feelings, but we never replayed memories like that. Why would it happen? And why that memory? I don't know. It's pretty eerie. It's weird, but our voice was always a good thing. This could be too. I'm feeling something again. Near the barn. Yeah, me too. Stop sulking. I told you already. I'm sorry. No, you're not. <laughs> okay. Guess you don't want to see what I put in the treasure room then. What? No, I want to see. I guess we know where to search now. We just have to remember which one is the silent frog. So, which one of you is hiding the key? Nothing mm -hmm. here. Where's the key? Seriously? Kidding. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, okay, sorry. Nice job keeping a secret, buddy. Got it. All this for a screwdriver? You got a better idea how to get in? Huh. Who left this box here? It looks brand new. It wasn't me. Has someone been out here recently? Guess it's your lucky day, bird friends. Are you sure you want to go in there? This was our very first den, remember? Who knows what lives down there now? Everything okay down there? Tyler? Ah! Oh, that's not funny! <laughs> then why am I laughing? Okay, fine, but you're still an idiot. All right, I'm going in for real this time. Okay, I'll see you at the front door in a few minutes. Holy shit. 
I, uh, dragons, straight ahead. Need to go left, I think. Then left again after the goblins. Nope, it was on the right. My bad. You were right, sis. Of course. A goblin never forgets where she stashed her treasure. Marianne grilled us about all these missing dishes, but a goblin never gives up their treasure. Pink. It always had to be pink. Past the treasure. Straight, Straight ahead. ahead. You know, I almost convinced myself our voice was just a mad hunter. Why am I still afraid to say his name? He was Mary Ann's creation. She made all the creepy characters. You were right. Nothing here. Of course I was. I would have taken the gold. Not even in your dreams. Why am I still afraid to say his name? He was Mary Ann's creation. She made all the creepy characters. Coming. Are you okay? I'll live. Good to hear your voice again. 
Yeah, same here. So, coming in or what? Just working up to it. Well, we're here. Here we are. So, how do we get started? We figure out what to keep, what to trash, and see what else this house might be trying to show us. Doesn't seem real. Mary Ann's room. Let's not go in there until we absolutely have to. Agreed. We should take down the creepy masks if we don't want to scare the buyers away. Oh, so now you don't want to scare someone with those masks. Hey, I just put on the mask and pretended to be a warrior. You were the one who got freaked out by it. Right. Not that she ever let me wear him very long. Ooh, this place needs some serious cleaning. Or an exorcism. Huh. This bathroom still smells like Marianne. Good scrub and we'll be rid of that too. I tried to bury this dress in the backyard, but Marianne caught me. It was a pretty dress. Yeah, well, we both know pretty was never my thing. What are we gonna do with all her jewelry? Well, I'm certainly not gonna wear it. Donation pile it is, then. Wow. I forgot all about her weird concoctions. And how she was always testing them on us. Like we were lab rats. Handmade soap. Still here after 10 years. Impressive. You could say that about the entire house. Hmm. Not a total disaster, Ronan. We were so competitive about who measured taller. Like, we actually had anything to do with it. And after all that, it ended in a tie. Yeah, none of that crazy stretching I did made any difference. String, glue, duct tape. The holy trinity of house repair. Marianne loved having something to fix. but not the part where it got broken, especially if we were the ones responsible. I know. I'm just saying she liked to save broken things. Huh. What was she hoping to do with all these jars? She used to barter for our clothes with homemade jam. She tried everything to make ends meet. Well, not everything. Mom? About me joining the hockey team? Mom! Sorry, what? Uh, not now. Maybe next year. But you promised! Keep whining, and my next year will become never. Can you cut my hair? Your hair is fine. But I want to cut it short, really short. What? Look, I'm tired, and I'm busy. Let's talk about this later. You always say that. Marianne said no to everything. It made me so pissed. She was always on edge those last few months. Yeah, 
and completely deaf to everything I was telling her I needed. She pretty much always said no to me too. True, but it felt personal with me. She was trying to save the planet way before Al Gore made it cool. Has Al Gore ever made anything cool? Nah. I guess she was right about one thing, but you can't really blame anyone for not listening to crazy Marianne Ronan. She took so many pictures. Yeah, like she had to document every second of our lives. You can keep some of them, if you want. No thanks. I mean, I like the photos of us, but I don't think I can forget that she was the one aiming the camera. Wow. I'm so embarrassed for us. Many Da Vinci's we were not. She saved every drawing we ever did. There's a couple of these I might keep. Remember these. It's probably one of Marianne's unfinished masterpieces. There's two of them. Maybe they were us. In some weird way that only made sense to Marianne. She pinched every penny. What are you reading? A letter we wrote her. To apologize for breaking that stupid face, remember? Bore your kids into good behavior. Great parenting strategy. Old textbooks. Tessa gave them to us, right? Yeah, she thought we were gifted. And what about you? You think you're gifted? I wouldn't be here if I was. What? Like, in this house with me? I mean anywhere near here. I'd be working in Juno or Seattle or something. Best mom. You think we ever really believed that, or were we just trying to make her happy? Either way, it wasn't true. If you don't come up soon, I'm gonna take whatever I want from our bedroom. No way, wait for me. Know this? This feels like home. Hey buddy, it's been a long time. Oh, this one wasn't mine. Look, it's the game we made, Lusion Tramway. That game never made any sense. 
didn't stop us from playing all day. Dude, we were kids. All we needed were rocks and bird feathers. Look, it's the game we made, Lusion Tramway. That game never made any sense. Didn't stop us from playing all day. Dude, we were kids. All we needed were rocks and bird feathers. Hey, the postcard we sent ourselves from Juno. Forever alone. What? We barely had any friends. We even had to be our own pen pals. Wow, look how small these beds are. We were so little. Yeah. So much for my dream of being a hockey star. Marianne thought sports were too aggressive, too competitive, and too group thinky. How did you convince me to let you put this up? It was my favorite movie. Back then. You know, if there's one thing you gotta give Marianne, it's that she let us explore our artistic side. You should have seen Eddie's face when I tried to repaint his car. Yeah. I bet Uncle Eddie didn't appreciate your artistic touch. I'd rather you call him Chief Brown if you're gonna be an ass about it. Look what I found! What? Only our greatest creation, the Book of Goblins. <laughs> Seriously? It was in that ch All these stories. I had ideas for so many more. Marianne wrote a lot of them. Yeah. It's one of the only times I remember her being at peace. Ah, uh, where is it? You looking for something in particular? My diary. You never told me about it. Yeah. With the way Marianne was, I tried extra hard to keep it a secret. Marianne. Yeah, that day she found out about it. Mom, where is it? What did you do with it? What now? I can't find my diary. I know you stole it. Give it back. Sweetie, whatever I do, it's just for your benefit. You read it, didn't you? You had no right to do that. I have the right to do whatever I need to protect my little girl. I'm not your girl. I hate you. You will always be my little girl. And no matter how hard you fight me, I'll fight twice as hard to keep you safe. I don't know how I never saw it coming. She told me right to my face. She was willing to hurt me, to keep me from transitioning. Tyler, there is no way you could have known she'd go that far. I want my diary back. Her room was the only place I didn't look. Okay, but do you need to get it, like, now? That diary was important to me, Allison. 
Writing down my thoughts helped me realize who I am. Well, then let's go find it. You think her room is still locked? It always was. I'm not looking forward to going in there. I know. Whenever we asked for a TV, she'd just bring home a big stack of books. I think she did us a favor with that one. Mm, you may not agree when we start digging into the HBO back catalog. We'll see. Ugh. Some of our old toys give me the creeps. Finally caught the hag. His furious voice could be heard throughout the forest. For your wickedness, you will be eternally bound to the lake. What? No way. Quiet, let me finish. You will no longer be allowed to leave. Not even under a full moon. The moon hag was imprisoned in the lake, and she never again tried to escape. Hmm. Hmm. And then the title. What do you think? Not bad, right? Uh, I guess that's okay. But I would have changed the end. What? No way! The Ice King. I totally forgot about him. That's because it was dangerous to mention his name. He was too powerful. Where'd you come from? Hold up. What? Remember this? Uh, unfortunately. You must solve my riddle to earn the right to enter the princess's sanctum. Nothing a good hard shove won't take care of. I mean, yes, we could brute force it, but it might be kind of fun to finally solve it, right? We have different definitions of the word fun. Okay, well, if we break it, we're just gonna have to fix it for the sale. So let's at least try not to. You have the Book of Goblins? Yep. Hand it over. What are you looking for? The image on the door. It's making me think of a story from the book. One that Marianne wrote. You have a way better memory than me. Well, the Book of Goblins was my creation. And you'll never let anyone forget it. Here it is. The one about the princess's party. Give it a read. I think the symbols may represent something in the story. First ghost memories, now storybook puzzles. What a weird day. What a weird childhood. Touché.
Uh, I think I'm just gonna force this open. You sure? We're not in a rush, and... We'll have to fix it. All right, one more try. Boom, we're in. I'm the one who solved the riddle. Why do I feel like you're not gonna let me forget that? Where do you think we should start looking? I don't know. Where in this mess would she stash someone else's personal thoughts? Straight in the trash? No. I bet we could sell it on the internet. True. Maybe we could sell it to the guy who collects John Wayne Gacy's clown paintings. so much on my plate lately, and, and they're convinced I'm the enemy, and I don't know why. I need them. I need my goblins. I remember now. We heard her crying. We listened through the door. Seeing her like this, as if she's still here, it's... It really sucks. She was really coming apart those last few months, wasn't she? Is 
she and Tessa were best friends. Until suddenly they weren't. Wonder what happened. Either Tessa got sick of Marianne's moods, or Marianne got sick of Tessa's judgment. Hmm. So she was standing here, spying through the window, drawing us while we played. She always had her eye on us. My entire body just shivered. It's here! I knew it. I fucking knew it! Do you think she read it? Of course! She was nosy as hell. Tyler. What? Look. What? Where did you find that? It was on her desk with her papers. Seriously? Are you fucking kidding me? Look, we gotta be really careful not to overthink this. It doesn't make any sense. She, she was mad, right? She was mad I, I, I cut my hair. She attacked me because I cut my hair. She was mad and she attacked you. We both saw it. Then what is this shit? I don't know. I don't know. Tyler, come here. She can't do this to me. Not now, when I've finally made sense of a few things. Well, that was your first mistake, thinking the world made any kind of sense. Ten years in the grave, and she's still finding new ways to piss us off. Yeah. I think I need some air. Are you really, really sure? I am. Do it. Okay. Uh, here we go. <laughs> Whoa. Is it all gone? Yeah. It, it looks amazing. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to show mom. She's been so sad lately. More than sad. She's been scary. Yeah, but not tonight though. It was almost like a party. <gasps> Thank you, Allison. You don't have to thank me. You're my sister. I feel more like, like your brother. Brother, sister, we look out for each other. 
but I'm pretty sure I just gave you a really bad haircut. <laughs> <laughs> Mom? Mom? Glad we found your diary. Me too. I guess she was trying to figure out where you were at. Yeah, well, she should have asked. I wasn't some goddamn research project, I was her child. About the book. Raising your transgender child? Do you even know how rare these books were in 2005? Was she trying to figure out how to support me? Maybe. Which, she wasn't trying. She never... <sighs> it doesn't make sense, I know. You cutting your hair was what set her off, right? Allison, she read my diary. She already knew. It wasn't my hair. And if we were wrong about that... Fuck. You think she read it. It's possible she never even opened the diary, and that things are exactly like we always thought they were. But if she did, and they aren't... God, Tyler! Sure. I mean, we could have been wrong. But what good does it do to ask the question now? You mean other than not having to live with the thought that my mom tried to kill me for being me? Tyler, I know you want there to be something to find. Something that'll make it all make sense. But she was unhinged. So that's it then. She was crazy. Nothing else to say. I think we'd be better off if we tried to move on. Why don't we talk to a few people who knew her? See if that book makes any sense to them. People don't want to talk about Marianne. They pretend like that night never happened. What about Tessa? She was Marianne's closest friend. Let's ask her about it. Sure. But I'll warn you, she's particularly touchy about this subject. Well, maybe she'll talk to me. I was always her favorite. Operative word was. But we need to go by the store anyway, to get a few things for the repairs. Great. Two seagulls, one stale hunk of bread. I'm not sure I like that analogy. Listen, I know you don't want to keep talking about this, but you're obviously not going to be satisfied until we do. So let's talk. You've been on edge all day. Is there something more going on with you? It's nothing. Pretty sure it's not nothing. And I'd like us to be on the same page. I thought we were on the same page. Sell this place as quick as possible and move on.
and then we found the book, and things changed. You really don't get that? It's just, with the way you avoided this place for the last three years, I thought you wouldn't want to spend any extra time here. Oh. So that's what this is about. Maybe a little. Yeah. It's just... You graduated three years ago. And this is the first time we've seen each other in person. It's not that I didn't want to see you. I just wasn't ready to be Tyler in Delos Crossing. I tried to visit you. I tried to go to your fireweed graduation. I wanted to bake you a crappy boxed cake and take awkwardly posed photos. I know. But you shut me out. All I got was non-responses and half-assed evasions. Look. I didn't want to see anyone. I just started testosterone. And, oh god. I had the worst acne. My emotions were all over the place and the smells. Allison, the smells... Men smell bad. I know. I've dated a few. Look, I needed some time to figure my shit out before I asked anyone else to try. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, it does. So, I was thinking, hmm? do we need to be in such a rush to sell this place? We've been over this, and we both agreed it's time for a clean break. I know. Trust me. I'm not talking about staying for long. Just long enough to get some answers. And you think this house has those answers? Maybe not, but it's a place to start. <sighs> well, it would be a shame if there was something to find and we tossed it out. How about... We start digging without putting off the sale. And if it seems like we need more time, we'll talk about it then. Okay. So, we have a plan? Yep. We ask around about Marianne, but we also stick to our repair schedule. If that's really what you need. All right, deal. Ollie's diary. It's been a long time since I heard that name. Was I the only one who ever called you that? Actually, no. I used it at Fireweed for a while, until I settled on Tyler. Most people were pretty chill about the switch. Not everyone, though. What do you mean? I had a mentee who refused to call me Tyler. He didn't want my help. He didn't want anyone's help. I'm sorry. I like the name Tyler, by the way. Thanks. If you squint, you could almost forget Delos Crossing's only a few miles away. I'm sure Marianne tried to. Can't blame her. We're headed there for supplies later. You ready for that? Yeah, but I was really enjoying a day without assholes. Just a little longer, and every day will be asshole free. That might be asking a lot. Nice ring. Gift from your boyfriend? Come on. I told you I'm not with anyone right now. Don't rub it in. Why does it look familiar? It was a gift from Eddie. He had them both made at the same time. Both? Oh, wait. Yeah. This ring is supposed to be linked to the one he gave you, in a spiritual way. Do you believe in all that? You mean, do I believe we could be linked in some other metaphysical way? You know, other than the one that already lets us share thoughts and memories. Fair enough. Not a bad view, right? I forgot how beautiful it is. Remember that time we tried to cross the lake after it froze over? Oh yeah, how can I forget? Marianne lectured us for an hour. Well, she wasn't wrong, at least. It was really dangerous. If we'd fallen in, no more goblins. We grew up on this lake. We know how to spot thin ice. I think that's enough time enjoying the view. 
I wasn't going to say anything, but... Yeah, yeah, I know. I was the one all eager to go, and then I started waxing poetic about the landscape. Go ahead. I'll catch up. Need to respond to a message. Uh Uh-huh. My sister, the social butterfly. Seems we got a trespasser. What the fuck? You got five seconds to talk me into defending my property. Your property? Five. Four. I'm Tyler. Don't know any Tylers. Three. Two. Sam! Ellie? What are you doing out here, girl? This is our house. Was I talking to you? Sam, put the gun down. This is Tyler, my brother. Well, your brother? Oh, shit. Huh. I guess I heard about all that, but I never. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> you look like a real man. So do you, Sam. <sighs> you know what I mean. I just didn't know they could make a woman look so much like a man. Not a woman who looks like a man, Sam. A man. A real man, just like you. Oh, shit. Guess I'm the asshole again. You gotta excuse us, old guys. I really don't. Come on. You kids keep changing the rules. You can't expect us to keep up. Just respect the people are who they say they are. It's not hard. No, it ain't hard, but it just takes some getting used to. We'll get used to it, because we aren't going anywhere. So, what are you doing here exactly? Oh, well, I, uh, I've been kind of keeping an eye on this place for you, you know? It's like patching the roof, checking the pipes, and all that stuff. Thank you, Sam. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, that's no big deal. I just... You know, your mama, she was, uh, she was a special lady. She deserved much better than, you know, uh, what you got. Didn't you used to help Mary Ann with repairs and building projects? Oh, yeah. Yeah, seeing as your mama never had a man around, I just, you know, took it on myself to help her keep this place standing. How antiquated of you. Thanks. I uh, guess you two are still aiming to sell the place? That's the plan. Which, by the way, we need your keys. Since apparently you went and changed the locks? Oh yeah, absolutely. But, uh, selling your mother's house? Are you sure? Bad or good? It's all you've got left of her. Funny. Don't remember asking for your opinion on the subject. Tyler! What? What Tyler means is, a fresh start is what we both need. Of course. This place has got to be full of all kinds of bad memories. But maybe some good ones, too? Can you hear me? Ty, we can't do this when we're in the middle of talking to someone. But this is pointless. He's hammered. He's always hammered. And who knows? Maybe it'll make him chatty. Now come on. People think our family is weird enough. Um, everything okay with you two? Yes. No. Oh, all right. Did you help with her door? Her door? The puzzle on her bedroom door. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, You two kept sneaking in, giving her no privacy, huh? 
You ever solve it? Yep. Better late than never, I guess. Uh, never solved it myself. I mean, not that I wanted to. I, I, uh, uh, so, uh, guess you know all your mama's secrets now, huh? Well, she may have one or two left. We should get going. That's all you think we'll get out of him? He's too wasted to be of any more help. I'll tell him to get a move on then. Well, we've got a supply run to make and Uncle Eddie's expecting a visit, so. All right. Yeah, of course. Uh, get going, you two. Um, Sam, we all gotta get going. Oh, uh, of course. Of course, yeah, I got lots to do myself. I, lots of to-dos on old Sam's list. And you don't want to keep Brown waiting, you know? <laughs> Thanks for looking out for this place. Happy to do it. I... Uh, don't hesitate to reach out if you need anything. Anything at all. You hear? Sam? Huh? Uh, Sam? Huh? The keys? Oh, yeah. Of course. Of course. Yeah, they're, they're yours. I, uh... uh mm. This place... It meant a lot to your mother. It almost felt like... Well, it was a part of her, and... And it's like some part of her is alive here, still. Hopefully the house doesn't turn out to be a murderous psycho that tries to kill us in our sleep, huh? Uh, yeah. Well, uh, take care of yourself, uh, both of you. Hey, so, we really do have a lot to do. Okay, go on. I'll be right behind you. Ready to Veni Vidi Vecchi? I'm ready to talk to Tessa. Just try to keep in mind that your memory of her is ten years out of date. Yeah, well, it wouldn't be if she reached out to me while I was in Fireweed, which she didn't. So I'm guessing this is Michael? 